What is going on, my YouTube family? It is your girl, Miss T with the T, and I'm back with another food review. Um, today, I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Impossible Whopper from Burger King, which is a uh, plant-based burger. So, if you're wanting to know more about this burger and um, my review on this, then I highly suggest you watch this video. All right, everybody, so welcome or welcome back if you are returning. I'm your girl, Miss T with the T. Um, I do a lot of food reviews, mukbangs, uh, freebies when I can find them. And today I'm gonna be doing the review on the uh, Burger King Impossible Whopper. Now, I know that this has been out for a while. Uh, I was a little hesitant to try it because it's a plant-based uh, sandwich. So I was just figuring this is like, is this gonna just taste like a plant or is it gonna really taste like a burger? But I finally built up enough courage to try this out. So what I got here on my meal, let me take, let me explain to you guys about this sandwich before I take a bite out of it. Let me reposition. Okay, so about this meal, the burger itself was about four or five dollars. Then, um, well, I substitute fries for onion rings because, uh, as you all know, I don't really do fries because in fast food places they tend to put about a pound of salt on the fries and I'm not with all that salt. So I just went with onion rings um, and I got their zesty uh, onion ring sauce. So anyway, about this meal. Okay, so the burger itself was like $5 and then it was free to change from onion rings to fries. Um, adding cheese to this was 60 cents. So once you put it in a meal, it was $8.19, plus the cheese made it $8.79. Uh, and then tax, it came up to like $9.65. I'll insert all this stuff on the side so you guys can see what I paid. So it's practically t practically $10 for this meal. What? So oh. it better be uh, all that in a bag of chips. So um, anyways, now that I've got done venting, let me guys show, we'll all look at this together to see what this burger is looking like. Let me put these onion rings to the side. Uh, it comes with mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and onions, and ketchup. And this is what it's looking like on the inside. I don't have to spill anything and show you guys. Now, I haven't had Burger King in a minute, so uh, it's kind of looking like a patty. It smells kind of like a Whopper. Let me get the back side. This is the back side. Look at that right there. So I'm starving and uh, yeah, I was like, uh, I didn't know it was gonna be that much. Oh, and I got a Sprite to drink. I did it on the app and uh, for some reason the app only let me choose between Coke, Dr. Pepper, or, uh, or Sprite. So I was like, uh, okay. There was no other option, so this is what I, went with. This is what the zesty sauce is looking like. You guys never had it. It's cool. It's a little, uh, it's mild. It's not hot, hot or anything like that. So I'm nervous as heck. So without further ado, let's try this out. Uh, let me get my Sprite ready just in case I need to wash this down because I don't know. I have had, uh, one of these type of burgers before at Denny's when they were doing a promotion to promote their uh, new, you know, Impossible Sandwich. Um, but it was not the greatest. You, it tasted just like, you know, plant-based. So since then, it just kind of shook me from trying these out. Um, okay, so let me stop talking and wasting time. Food's getting cold. Let's try this out. Now, the reason I want to try this is because it's plain broiled, so, you know, it tastes like it came off the grill, so maybe it'll have a better taste. And I wasn't going to add cheese to it, but I was like, well, maybe cheese will make it taste just a little bit better. So, let's try it out. I'm 
Okay, so it's actually, it's not as bad as what I thought it was gonna be. Onion rings are popping. It doesn't have that strong plant-based taste to it like I thought it was gonna have. Like you're just eating a sunflower or something, straight out the grass. Mm -hmm. So let me take another bite. I guess let me let you guys see what it looks like in the middle. It looks like uh, an average patty, especially from you know Burger King. Let me take another bite, you know, before I rate this and let you guys know what I think. I don't know what's going on with this light system up in here. Okay, so I'm not mad at it. It does taste better than uh, the previous burger that I had that was like an impossible burger. I don't know if the flame broiledness may taste just a little bit better, you know, that grill smoke taste to it. Um, it doesn't taste exactly like a Whopper. I gotta wash it down so I can get a fresh bite. Now, like I said, it doesn't taste like exactly like a Whopper, but it doesn't taste too far from it. Let me try this again. Here's a big piece of meat right here. It's just a tad bit off from the taste of a regular Whopper, but it's not bad at all. It's not the greatest, but it's not horrible. I think I can finish this off. I'm trying to explain to you like what the burger tastes like. It's like, It tastes like, um, okay, so you know how it's like Angus beef, and then there's like the store brand or something like that. It just tastes like some kind of, it's not twop, twop, it's not top quality meat, but it just tastes like some plain, uh, like a bland patty, but you know, all the, the flame broiledness kind of helped it out, gives it a little bit of better taste. Plus, I got cheese on it and the toppings that kind of helped it out. Um, yeah, so on a scale of one to ten, I would probably give this uh, about a seven, seven and a half. Oh, excuse me, it has a different taste, different flavor, but it's not bad at all. It, if I had to rate this from a, from it being a Whopper to uh, what this is now, how how different and taste it is is not that bad. Maybe, you know, at least work on just a little bit more, be a little bit better, um, but it's edible. Like I said, I've had worse, and this is uh, a little better. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to come out here and share with you guys about this burger. If you have any questions you want to know about it, um, it's not bad at all. If you know me, if I'm not satisfied with something, I'm not gonna eat it. No. I don't know where this $10 came in the equation. Burger King, this, uh, it's okay. It's better than other, well, I only had one other impossible sandwich, but why is this? Sounds like almost ten dollars. Why is it nine sixty five? 
Can somebody please let me know? I know everybody's going through hard times, but if I wasn't really doing this video, I don't think I would pay again $9.65 for this sandwich when I can get a Whopper. Especially on their app when they have uh, $2 Wednesday where you get a Whopper for $2 and stuff like that. I need some. I need somebody to do some explaining and tell me why this is $10. I can see paying like 5 or $6 for the meal for 10 Come on now. Y'all got bigger sandwiches there. Or I can get a double, a bacon double on the app combo meal for $3. So the price and it's a little bit off from a Whopper, but it's not bad uh, either. So that's probably why I gave it, that is why I gave it a seven. Now, it's okay. Will I buy this again? Hell no, to the no, no, no. Not for $9.65. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's probably worth about, this meal about $6. There's no double patty or anything. All I got was a little piece of cheese on here. But anyway, enough venting. I just wanted to share with you guys this sandwich. Thank you guys for taking time and stopping by to watch me review this sandwich. And if you have any questions or comments, like I said before, please leave down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, please stay safe out there. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.